It's the 28th of October. I just would like to give a summary and a watchman report of um, things I've noticed. Give a, an account and warn people, invite people to um, be saved and know the Lord Jesus Christ and be washed by his precious holy blood to be purchased by him, to actually have a knowledge of the existence of God, the Almighty Father, his Son, his Word, Lord Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh, who suffered our sins, su suffered our rottenness, put this unjust world to rights, and he was nailed up on the cross to pay the price, to pay a just holy God for all the consequences that have been put on the account of the human race, of the human existence of history through time. And he suffered that and died for it because he, he loved the world. And the Father gave his only begotten Son, only begotten in the flesh, not in the spirit, because we're invited to become his literal sons and daughters by what he did that we couldn't do for ourselves. And he spilt his uh, precious blood, God's blood. God died because he loved the world. And to know that love, and I just want to convey that love, an invitation for people to um, come to know him themselves, as I have and many others. And that is quite simply the gospel message, to have faith alone in the death, burial and resurrection of the faithful Lord Jesus Christ. Um, unto eternal life, who prepared the way that we could enter into his heavenly kingdom, which is imputed within our hearts. He gives us his free gift. It's a free gift of grace, what he paid for, what he freely gave. He gave his life, his eternal life. Although he didn't give his, up his eternal life, he gave up his mortal life as an example of love and mercy. He suffered all of the sins without murmuring, without complaint. So God is just and holy and he will judge this world. He's already judged this world by what he's completed on the cross. It's his finished work, it's done and it will be active now and into the end of time when all, all the unholiness, all the unrighteousness all the fruits of mankind will inevitably build up to a crescendo and wickedness will get its way. People will be devoid of any any love, any salt. They won't fear God and they'll believe a lie and they'll follow along with the crowd and they'll be led to the slaughter and the climax of all the uh, world's powers dominating all the one world order, all the secret conspiracy to uh, undermine all nations governments bring them into subjection to this one one world idea that they they are been working generationally to get on the table to overthrow what christ has done and to bring about their own kingdom their own design to rule the human race to have us as uh, slaves and puppets to uh, just a fuse idea that they may rule like gods over people it's uh, all of the devil, it's all a lie, it's all counterfeit and it has to be done by deception and lies. So I'm just going to give a few thoughts on my what I've absorbed in my life to uh, hopefully bring people to that, that uh, understanding and in, I pray that they feel the Holy Spirit testifying of the truth. I can't convince people, I can only share what, what I know and the Holy Ghost will convict and and do the rest. That's that's my prayer, that's my trust. Um, I'm just being a watchman today. A watchman is... Uh, to, a watchman was put on watch on a, a city wall and he was to look out during his watch. His duty was to look out for enemies approaching the the camp or the uh, security of the civilians living within the walls and uh, if he fell asleep on duty he was guilty of, of you know he was punishable by death 
in certain um, certain um, cultures that he would have been put to death because he's failed his duty and uh, so as a believer I've got a responsibility to warn people as all believers have so being a watchman and looking out to warn people of approaching armies now if I don't do that God's going to hold me accountable um, for not warning people and I'll have to give an account and those people's blood, those people's lives those people that I could have affected in my life and I didn't warn it will be held, I would be held responsible for not warning them and I'd have to, I'll have to explain and it's a um, it's quite a fearful thing to have to stand before Almighty God and give an account of what I've done since I, since he saved me and freely given me his love for people. He's going to know why I didn't share it, why I didn't warn people. So this is my uh, motive, not, not, not to escape punishment, but because I've known the love of God and I want to share that, not for uh, because I'd be rewarded for doing this, um, but because I know the love of, the love of uh, my Saviour and my God in my life and I want to invite people to um, discover that for themselves through faith alone in Jesus Christ. Um, like I say, I can't convince anybody. I can only warn. And the things I can warn about is only the things I can see from, from my position, from being up in the um, battlements and looking out into the world and observing what's t what's afoot. And I can see one, one thing that's uh, predominant, that's the fat lump of, of mammon. And that's predominantly the European unions and all the world powers that are in bed with it. And the, and the royal whore and harlot that sits on the top is a Roman Catholic church. That's what I want to warn about. And uh, people have lost sight of that. Um, I just found, I just noticed this this book on the floor and this is a, just a short little uh, book about uh, British history and it's titled Remember, Remember the 5th of November and, that's, and that, that title caught my eye and I thought oh, it's, and it covers the uh, Protestant Reformation, it covers uh, Guy Fawkes and all the history and that's one of the things that we've lost sight of in this country. I've just made a video on this, but I'm going to give a, another account. And that's a good little book to read. It's by an author, Judy Parkinson. It's quite an old book. And she wrote um, I Before E, Except After C, which was to teach uh, just basic uh, stuff that's been taken out of the education system. And it helps um, people to learn, like maths and English. And uh, rather than being uh, the current education system, where you're a lot, of, a lot of the old ways have been admitted, and they've applied uh, uh, new models of schooling, new ways of teaching, which um, sadly uh, robbed the student of uh, of using their brains. And uh, it's a completely different education today, and what it was. It may be better in some respects with technology and stuff like that but it's lacking the salt and the uh, our true heritage of our history so that's a good little book Remember the Remember the 5th of November and that's been stripped from the current generation's knowledge and now it's bonfire night and Halloween um, I've noticed um, on Halloween uh, a, lot, a lot of the um, noticed a lot of the current uh, dramas on TV are all to do with uh, the supernatural witchcraft and that's simply to um, like Harry Potter and it's throughout computer games, it's throughout computer series as it was in the past but today it's more prolific it seems to be like um, predominantly uh, shows on witchcraft, werewolves, vampires um, beasts and uh, supernatural cre creatures and this all roots from the occult and it's to get children basically into the uh, occultish uh, mindset, the satanic mindset because there's power in it and it's uh, tempting.
and that will lead you into Ouija boards and familiar spirits and then you'll be then you're in danger of being possessed overtaken and controlled by these powerful forces and that will lead you into other handlers of these uh, arts who practice these arts generationally and they'll come along and take you under their wing and draw excuse me and draw you into that world and that world is satanic and to do with um, corruption, paedophile rings um, I've spent many years researching these areas and it's all interlinked it's all interlinked with the money world it's all interlinked with religious cults it's all interlinked with the vice rings that uh, compromise politicians to blackmail them it's all woven into the powerhouse of this world and mammon and uh, that lump I was on about with the Roman Catholic pagan order on the top who also practice these crafts, these satanic crafts and they control indirectly upon layer upon layer of uh, influence and investment they can control most of the avenues that control our TV our news, our um, media paper, the newspapers, the uh, news programs, the documentaries and if you want to um, get something produced and on the telly you need to go, it, need, it needs to be ticked off, it needs to be edited, it needs to be okayed so it needs to be politically correct and it will admit most of the the truth so you won't, you won't see a true picture um, all people in the world are liars because they're not founded on the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, religion goes about building its own own kingdom, its own idea of what God's kingdom will be. And I'm just going to read uh, a few scriptures. Um, now the the apostle Paul taught um, he liked to be all things to all men, and um, I kind of have seen that kind of uh, with my testimony. I've tried to use what knowledge I have to bring people round back round to the gospel, to the salvation of Jesus Christ. Um, but there is a danger of focusing too much on politics, focusing too much on uh, the cons one world conspiracy. But all these things have been, uh, have been relevant, they are relevant to the truth and what's going on. But the sim simplicity of the truth is to just to come to not that, the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He will um, teach you everything you need to know. He will. Um, every believer is equipped. They might they might not fully know everything, but they're equipped to learn all the devil's devices. And um, I'm just going to convey this by a few simple scriptures. Uh, Proverbs verse ten. Uh, Proverbs eleven actually. Uh, verse thirty. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he that winneth souls is wise. So you can be focusing all your life on bringing about justice, being a um, campaigner for a better world, and trying to build in a better world. But we have prophecy, this world is not going to get any better, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse and worse and worse, and evil's going to get its way. Because we've got a fat ignorant public body who doesn't believe in Christ, they don't believe in our heritage, because it's religion, they don't want to know about uh, Guy Fawkes Night and uh, what what it was all about, what the fight, what the Protestant Reformation was about, and what uh, the Counter Reformation was. That that Counter Reformation is still in action. That's why we we've got the European powers dictating that we can't get out of Brexit, and then you've got the people loyal in our government who are digging their heels in and stopping. Um, us being an independent nation. This goes back through history. You only you only need to study that for yourself. But because because you're put off by the the target, you can't hit the bullseye because the gravity is going to throw you away from that uh, that truth. If you if you remember those old-fashioned roundabouts that uh, the centre column was exposed in the middle, and you go into the middle and you try and kick kick the centre when it's spinning really fast centrifugally your foot's thrown out that's a bit what I'm talking about because people don't want to know uh, Christ they're, they're not going to see the the main thread of truth that's been stripped out of uh, our generations and, and changed the education system's changed 
politics have changed, regulations have changed, it's all dictated by this fat lump in the EU and the uh, whore riding on the top, which is, a, which is the Pope, he dominates. He's powerful and people are fo fearful of his power. I'm going to go to um, John, I think it's John 18. And because people don't want to know Jesus Christ, they're not going to they're not going to look research the right areas. They're going to throw the baby out of the bathwater, nick all the, any goodies that they feel, any truth that they uh, thinks relevant. Most of the truth that's revealed in this world is by born again Christians, people with a uh, conscientious and and a love for lost souls. Um, and you get all these uh, hundreds and hundreds of conspiracy sites and they're all getting the same information that's been revealed by Christians but they won't mention where they get their information from. They get it off the back of Christians. It's just like all these cult religions, uh, the Mormon church, they, 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 um, have, they have connections in the intelligence agency and they infiltrate all that other, other agency and bodies infiltrate uh, Christian churches and they listen to and write down all, all what they learn and use it in their own churches to deceive their own members. It's all stripped, all the goodies are stripped out of the Bible. Christ is thrown to the, over their back and they, and they, they keep the bathwater for themselves. But deny the, they deny the Lord where, and where that truth comes from, where our, heri <coughs> excuse me, where our heritage has come from. And then they go about trying to live their own religion, trying to build up their own kingdom, getting in bed with all the corrupt powers and all, all the hold hands, and they're all yoked. They're yoked to that big lump. All, all, mo most of Christianity today is yoked to that big lump, and they're guilty of it. Uh, Revelation 17, 18, uh, 18, Come out of her, my people, be not partaker of her sins. It's talking about that lump. And if you're a born-again Christian, you need to separate from the association. If you're in one of those churches and you love Jesus, you've got a testimony of Jesus, you need to get out of those uh, associations, come away from them, have nothing to do with them, speak out against them, refute them. Uh, Jesus uh, speaking, just before he was, uh, this is while he was arrested. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again called Jesus and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself? Or did others tell it, thee, tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of, of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. So Jesus died, uh, knew, willingly knew he was going to be executed, and his finished work on the cross opened the door for us to enter into his kingdom. He is the king, his kingdom is in heaven, and, and God's kingdom, the kingdom of God, is placed within the believer's heart. They have a, um, an inheritance, um, an endowment of his, his grace and his life, eternal life, into their, imputed into their lives. And they have a part of that kingdom It lives within the believer. So the kingdom's in the believer. It's not going to be built up on the world by human hands. If you read that, uh, Daniel, I think it's chapter 2, chapter 12, uh, Christ is the stone without cut without hands, the rock cut without hands that's going to smash all these kingdoms. He's already made an open display by, by revealing himself the truth and the life and the light of the world. He's, he's convicted and shown all, all to be uh, sinful, all to be fallen short of the glory of God. And, and, and all mankind goes about its own way trying to establish the kingdom their idea of what God's kingdom is, and there's so many conflicting ideas of what the king, what what the world's kingdom should be like.
So we've got this merging of this um, absence of God in, in the hearts of mankind, all, f all vying for power, all vying for this kingdom, and the result of it will be the one world, new world order, uh, overseen by one head, the beast. And it will be, everyone will be brought into bondage to this beast and subject to, to this kingdom. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they won't be able to buy or sell. They'll have to worship this image of the beast and the beast. They have to pay homage to it. And if nobody goes along with it, they're going to get the guillotine. Or they're going to be hunted down and murdered. Because these powers are going to get their ten kings, they're going to give their kingdom and their power and authority over to one person who's going to dominate the whole world and bring it into subjection. Then it's going to go warring after Israel. It's going to capture everything, bring it into subjection, and it's going to gather around Israel and try to destroy the Jews. Um, so, focusing on um, building up your kingdom or trying to solve the world and put the world to rights, I'm not saying it's wrong to pursue justice, but if you're not founded on the rock, let me read Matthew 7. If you don't get your salvation first, you're on the sand. This is what Jesus taught, you know, put, build your house on the on a rock, not on the sand. And um, when Peter the Apostle was asked by Jesus, who, who, who do people say that I am? And, he, and, he, and, and Peter affirmed what people were saying about Jesus. Some say you're, you're the prophet Elijah. Some say you're, you're this or you're that. And Jesus said, well, what say ye of me? What do you say, Peter? And he said, well, I know, Lord, you're the Christ. You, you are the Messiah. You're the uh, Lord. You're the King of the Jews. And Peter said, well, my father's told you that. And... Uh, this is what this is the foundation of my church, and that is simply to know from the Father, from the Holy Spirit, when you believe in Jesus, that you get a faithful witness through the Holy Spirit, from, through Jesus, and from the Father by by what Christ done on the cross. So God gives you a faithful witness of His kingdom, of His salvation, of His life, and you're placed upon the rock. Now the Catholic Church claims that. Um, Peter, who is an apostle to the Jews and not the Gentiles, uh, that, that, that they hold the keys that Peter held and that they are the uh, authority of Christ on earth, which is complete heresy, which is a lie. One which they've uh, proclaimed throughout history, claiming that they've got the authority to be in Christ's stead, where well, they haven't. Um, Peter never even went to Rome, Paul the Apostle did. Uh, all the apostles had the keys. The key means the authority to share the word of God. And anyone who's got the, um, been placed on the rock has got the authority to teach what the word says, to testify that the word is true and faithful. It's the believer's final authority. That's why we have the King James Bible. That's why Oliver Cromwell, that's why William of Orange kicked out the Catholics. That's why... That's why it's been undermined and tried to strip out of the knowledge of future generations so they won't look at the enemy, they won't look at the fat lump, they'll be pro-European. European has strangled our independence, controlled all the uh, industry, choked it to death, and when politicians have gone out of, the, um, gone out of uh, line with what the, the dominant powers want, it's going to cause us problems, it's going to kick us. It's going to make sure that we we know that they're not happy with us. And if you know history, you know where to look. You can join up all the dots of the the occult bodies, the secrets, the secret societies, the Masons, the thirty to thirty degree Masons, all all wrapped up in this paedophile network, this vice network that is uh, used as a a tool to compromise people when they've when they're relaxing, when they're vulnerable and um, just um, seduce them with the power of the world, seduce them with temptations of whatever ticks their boat because they'll be by the intelligence networks and the profiling of people, they'll know what each person, what makes them tick. 
So it's going to draw them into this vice and then it's going to compromise them and by that compromise it'll have a lever, it'll have a blackmail. And this is how they've netted the whole world's powers. That's how they've taken over nations throughout history through these uh, corrupt associations through Freemasonry, the Illuminati, the Jesuits and it all ties into this lump into the corporate world, criminal underworld, the mafia all the crime in our streets in Great Britain is all sponsored, it's all allowed to happen all the immigration, all the criminal immigration has been allowed to happen, it's to protect interests, it's not the police could could eradicate it because they have the intelligence network to do so but when they go to eradicate it higher, a higher authority has stopped them from overturning and removing the problem so the problem's festered, it's fomented if you go back to um, Compton in uh, Los Angeles in America all the, all the gangs that's all associated to initiation craft which is linked to Freemasonry which is, our, our nation is just a few years behind the problem. So all the gang culture through the Hollywood media is uh, fermented and like witchcraft, it's all pumped and indoctrinated into the mainstream media to get the youth and the current generations into this mindset, who it appeals to. And they'll follow suit and you'll get these violent gangs spring up. But most of these gangs have got cells planted who who are in there to generate and get get local people to follow suit to tell you know to be to model on the image that is portrayed and they, and they target the gypsy community with the same hip hop cool image and the gang culture and it's all sponsored and then there'll be initiations into gangs and it'll be to territorialize the, and and cause um fear and the police uh, are getting choked on their other hand, so they're powerless to deal it. So that's the way that these powers control and blackmail. They blackmail by um, overtaking our country and just dis destroying the so uh, sociability of our infrastructure and our fam fam to destroy the family. That's why we've been pumped with homosexuality and gender rights. It's all to undermine our heritage to undermine the truth, what, what was thought about, what was bled about, what was died, what people gave their lives up for to protect and now we've completely been overtaken by the enemy. It's the same with the Crusades, it's the same with Hitler, it's all a re repeating of itself, all the same thing going on all around us today. Uh, the Harry Potter witchcraft, it's all to get children into and generations into Ouija magic, into the occult. Now they don't care for your soul, they just want to strip and, and pull people away from the basics, undermine our government, undermine Christianity in the true sense, Not, and they've done that by breaking into religion and giving it a bad reputation, so it puts people off the truth. Likewise they've got, they got a, a powerless government who are in their pocket who never done what they should be doing, so that turns the, the public body against the law. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with the law or our government system, it's the people in it. So they've corrupted that and it gives it a bad reputation. They infiltrated the churches, that gave religion a bad reputation. Where does that leave society without a compass? And then you're pumped with what's on the telly, what's popular, what's the, what's the political correctness. Uh, to support Islam, to support uh, the breaking up of the family, to support abortion, all these wrong bad things for society and fam the family model are now sponsored and held up by all these liars in the TV, BBC, liars, ITV, liars, you know they might not consider themselves liars but they're all on the bus and if you're not a believer in Jesus Christ you're on the bus and you're guilty, you're under condemnation, I'll read John 3 shortly uh, Matthew uh, chapter 7, I'll read Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 Which of you by taking taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? What the, what the Lord's saying is what, what, what human being can improve their life? Because you are a bit of clay, you are a sinful lump and you can't make yourself better from the inside out. You can improve your circumstances by by pomp and um, 
financial gain, and, but you can't become a better person. You can't become any less less of a sinner. Sin is sin, and sin equals death. We're a corrupted human race, and we are sick, and there's nothing we can do to change that fact. Whether you're better than somebody, whether you're less sinful or more sinful, none of us can add a cu any cubit to our stature. Only Christ can uh, impute his righteousness and love because he was holy to do so and powerful to do so because he's, he completed his work on the cross, opened the door where we could all receive the grace of God. Asking it, uh, ver uh, chapter 7 verse 7, Ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks, asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. So if you're a believer, all you've got to do is apply yourself, believe with all your heart, through faith alone in Christ. He, he's faithful to answer. Uh, verse 13. Enter ye in the straight gate, and wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be that go thereat. Because straight is the gate, narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes, or thorns, or figs, or thistles? Every, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. This is talking about religious, religious men, as, as well as... Uh, the general sec secular world. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is honed down, cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. So a genuine tree, a genuine pure stream, will only, will only give you the truth, and they will bring forth in their life good fruits. They won't do evil, they won't speak the good, and then their fruits will be counter, they'll be involved with paedophilia and they get, they're, they're, they're mixing with the wrong sort of crowd and, and swearing and cussing all the time um, and being, uh, you know, being a, a reprobate they will do good things, they will love their neighbour as themselves and they will teach about, they will teach and warn people about the gospel doesn't mean that people are perfect and sinless it just means they won't predominantly be living uh, that way. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall I enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my, will of my Father, which is in heaven. Um, let me find the chapter on the rock. Right, uh, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever ever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken them unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and everyone that heareth these sounds of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto the foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat that house and it fell and great was the fall thereof so Jesus is teaching that the foundation of life is him, he is the rock. Let me go to Corinthians chapter 3, First Corinthians chapter 3. I think it's chapter 3. Uh, verse 11, For another foundation can no man lay, that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ, by laying down his life, taking it up again and entering into, into heaven, and what I've already expressed, to, to believe, to call upon God, have mercy on me, I'm a sinner, and to believe with all your heart in the death, burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved, he's promised, he's faithful, and he'll put you on that rock by, by what he's done, and he is that rock. Now, if you've not got that first in your life, you're founded on lies. You, you haven't got the truth. So anything you're doing is in vain. It's to your own ends. It's for your own glory. It's, it's empty and it's vain. You need to be on the foundation. That's what Jesus is talking. Um, let me follow up with that. 
Uh, let me find it. Uh, second, First Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, speaking to believers, it says, uh, uh, verse 4, And did all drink the same spiritual drink, being receiving the free gift of eternal life, the uh, witness of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling Holy Spirit, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. So Jesus Christ is the rock. He's the only way entering the straight gate. There's no other way. You can't imitate. You can't become a god. Uh, pretend, you know, like the devil says, uh, all these secret societies are to self-elevate, to add cubits to their stature, to become godlike and rule it over people below them. Uh, and 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 the way Freemasonry works, it only elevates those up. It it sees fit. It's not it's not out for everyone else. It's all out for itself. In the vain illusion of going after the golden carrot of Satan, to be like God. You know, we're not gods. We'll never be gods. We'll only be uh, share an inheritance in the true air of God of Godhood. There's only one God, and that's God the Father, God the Word, and God the Holy Spirit. And we can have an inheritance in being adopted as sons. So we would share in the Lord's inheritance, but only He is God, and it's His kingdom. It will be His righteousness that rules. He will be sovereign in eternity forever. All we will be doing is taking part and having an inheritance in his glory, in his kingdom, but we will be solely for his existence and worship. He will be the centre of our focus. He'll be the centre of our worship because he, we love him because he first loved us. And we, as believers, we've received that love and that grace, and we know that love and, and warn people um, about that uh, Warn people about what what will happen if you miss out on that love, and that will be you'll spend eternity rejecting Jesus Christ. You'll die, you'll die in your sin, and you'll remain eternally created, but without life. You'll be uh, cast in the lake of fire, where there'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Oh God, it's not fair! I didn't know, uh, you know. And then you've got to spend eternity suffering all that Christ suffered and put off put off in a, a place where he left it and sealed it for eternity where the wicked are today people who people who die are judged they're judged by their lives and their choices in life and if you don't know the living God and you've rejected him you'll go to hell you'll spend eternity outside his presence and in his presence but in his fire in, in his contempt, in his anger, in God the Father's anger, because you rejected his son. You thought, oh, I don't want to know Jesus, therefore I don't want to know about the importance of history, so I'll carry on being fat and selfish and support and be on the bus of the, all the wicked people. All the, all the wicked people that kill to get their own way, they murder children, they, use, they, they spend lives up like they're theirs to spend because they believe that they're gods. And they're all in this uh, secret club, you know, wink, wink, we're all in the club. And we can get away with murder and we can raise you up if you want to be with us. But if you don't, we're gods over you. We, we believe that we are the elite. We are the cream of the crop. Well, they're the scum. They're the most filthy reprobates on this planet. And the, and the chief, the whore, is the Roman Catholic Church. And all those under it, the secret societies, the all the Bilderbergs, all, all the trilateral commission, all, all the corporate secular powers, and everybody that's in bed with her, all the harlots. That's the well. That's the media. That's the Hollywood. That's anyone who doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. So be warned if you're if you're not a believer. That's the only way to salvation. Uh, he, let me read Hebrews four. So he's the door, uh, read John 10, read Romans 10. Jesus is the door. Romans 10 clarifies the simplicity how to be saved. Believe with all your heart. Call upon the name of the Lord. And if you don't, you won't, you won't see. You'll be deceived. You'll be tossed around. 
when the wind comes, when war comes, when war comes marching up the street, when riots start happening, organised riots start happening around your cosy little suburban household and you're not on the rock and you're not you're not under the wings of the Lord or God Almighty, you're not in his high tower, you're not protected, you're gonna wonder at it and your your destruction's gonna be quick and you're gonna you're gonna be trodden down in the in the streets. You know, who knows what's up the road in our in our in our Great Britain, our untouchable little ivory tower. Well we've been infiltrated by all the despots of Europe that have been planted in it. We got a gang culture being sponsored and cultivated. We got Islam ready to be stoked and proud and and to cause a riots and f foment uh, violence and aggression to stir the Muslims and use the Muslims, you know, to destroy the Muslims. These people don't care about people's souls, and the government are compromised, and they're compromising people's lives, and they're not dealing with the truth. They're not standing up to what's right, and they're not standing up to our heritage of what uh, King James uh, gave his life for, to give us the word of God, what Oliver Cromwell fought for, to kick out these uh, dominant dictatorial powers. That's what, you know, it's all linked to uh, fascism, socialism, communism, all against the simplicity of Christ. And that's what our nation's founded on, and that's what's been undermined. And you won't be taught that in school, you won't be taught that in education, you won't be taught that in university, you'll be taught Darwinism, wondering how, oh, you know, it, you'll be left without an answer, without hope. So when trouble starts firing up around you, and it starts getting dark, and this dark mist comes up the street, and, and your life starts, your bubble pops, you're going to wonder at it, well... What, what's the truth? Well, the, tr the truth's already been revealed consistently since the time of Christ and pre-Christ, before his coming, it was preached to the Hebrews. The Word of God is, is constant, truth is constant, and it's unwavering. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 Let us therefore fear, lest the promise be left, un left us of entering into his rest, into his eternal rest, and of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. So everyone's, no, everyone's without excuse. Everyone knows what the gospel is. Everyone knows Jesus Christ. Um, everybody knows the, the Christmas story. Everybody knows he died for the sins of the world on a cross. Excuse me, and was resurrected the third day that we could have life. You may not know the guts and bones of all the gospel, but you know that you know that Jesus lived, and you could seek. You could seek God. You could seek the knowledge of God. But pe Jesus said, "People hate me without a cause, without any reason whatsoever, just because of their pride, because they're sinful. They won't come to the light and be found sinners." And the truth will set you free. If you if you realise you're a sinner, humble yourself and go and go and seek the Lord's forgiveness. He'll grant it freely, give you life, lift you up, give you joy, unspeakable joy, eternal life and the knowledge of God. And then you're founded and then you know the purpose of life. And then it won't matter then you won't really consider your own life. You you will know that your life's eternal, whatever you're suffering, it will give you hope. You'll be anchored to that surety of the eternal God, the faithful Lord. But if you reject that, you're lost. You remain lost. And, you, and you're willfully lost because you don't want to believe. For unto us was, was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mi uh, mixed with faith. In them that heard it. So if you don't have faith in the word and you don't believe it, you're not going to receive. You're not going to. You're not going to appropriate the atonement that Jesus Christ has, has uh, activated. He's completed it. He's um, appropriated it. That you could be one uh, atonement at one with God. You can be completed by His love. You can be restored in His love. You can be. 
like a child, childlike in that innocence and purity, in his love, in his grace. And you can know that and have it. And then you'd know the answer to life. You wouldn't need anybody to teach you it. Because people have, haven't have got faith, they don't believe it. It's like if you, if you were asking me, met me in the street, and you're a visitor to the country, and you said, oh, could you tell me the way to um, so-and-so? And I say, yeah, here, I'll draw you a map. And then I draw and you, drew you a map, and you went and you screwed it up and threw it away. Well, I don't trust you. I don't believe in it. So then you wouldn't wouldn't follow my instructions, and then you're unlikely to find the place. So you need faith in the, in the way, and the way is Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. There's no other way. Not religion. Not um, Freemasonry not by elevatory craft, but by the way, by the grace and soul merit of Jesus Christ. For we which have believed do enter into his into the into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. So Christ from before the world was created was uh, holy and pure and right. He only put put he only put right what we we put wrong what mankind because of the fall of mankind everything went wrong and if it wasn't for mankind the world would be peaceful and the world is peaceful it's because of wicked men who want to stir up war and and rule it over people that they got to they got to create they got to have war to to come you know to play play with their soldiers and uh, keep keep people in bondage by war and aggravation and stirring up the waters and, and to live their little fantasies that um, out of chaos comes order so they create the chaos to order or order it and to dominate and to be the heroes to be the um, the people you know the, like the Antichrist going to come on a, on a white horse in the name of peace but he's going to have no bow he's going to have no power because he's a, he's, a, he's a counterfeit, and that's what the world, the world powers, they're counterfeit, they're warmongers. All the conspiring powers against our nation's law and government are warmongers, and they just want to create war to be the heroes that step in at the end, and they're going to get their fingers burnt. But he spake in a certain place at the seventh day of his, of his wife, and God did rest from the seventh day from all his work. So God's always been holy. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. And that's talking about the the people of Israel who were given given the authority of the of his kingdom, but when Jesus came they rejected the king, they rejected the the um, vineyard owner's son and they killed him like they killed all the prophets because they didn't believe so they didn't receive eternal life they rejected their king crucified him and it's the same today in and, and the lord opened the door to the whole world to receive him and if you reject him you're going to miss out and you're going to perish in your sin and you'll remain in eternity stuck without the eternal rest of Jesus Christ, without the forgiveness of sins, without the, the happiness that he afforded, without the joy he afforded. Uh, right, let me read uh, John chapter 3. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and who, whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil, hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. And these things um, 
came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, Judea and, and there he tarried with them and baptised. Alright, let me read the end of the chapter. For whom God have uh, sent, speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, he giveth all things into his hand. He that believe on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believe not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So if you don't believe, you remain under condemnation, and the wrath of God uh, remains over your head. So when you die, you're going to taste the wrath of God, and that's eternal hell. That's eternal punishment, eternal torment. And, the, and, and likewise the world, if they don't repent, if the nations don't repent, and these wicked people in high places, secret places don't repent, they're going to bring about the wrath of God on themselves and, and draw the whole world into the wrath, the wrath to come. If you believe Jesus Christ, you'll be delivered from the wrath to come and you'll be taken away before that period happens. Uh, but the whole world's going to go into judgment. It's called the time of Jacob's trouble. The great tribulation period is approaching. And all, all these machinations, if you're, a, if you're a believer, you are equipped to see these things. It just takes a bit of study and look, being led into the right areas of research and history, what's been stripped out of the education system, and research all the knowledge available. There's so much knowledge available, and they all link into the same areas of who the enemy is. The Catholic Church, the Jesuits, the Masons, the, the Illuminati cult groups, the criminal underworld, the Mafia. And it's all yoked together as a beast, as a, a, um, an evil body of mass that is self-serving, it serves itself. The New World Order it's called. And it's all to do with the corporate world, all to do with the religious world, all this interfaith movement, the harlots, all in bed with the Catholic Church. So if you're any part of that, you need to come out. If you're, a, or if you're a believer, all the Lord said was go out into the highways and byways and share the gospel. He that wins souls is wise. You cannot, you cannot make the world a better place if you're a religious person trying to build the kingdom, trying to do good works. You know, good works aren't wrong, but forsaking the gospel um, and preaching the gospel other than good works is uh, unfounded, it's wrong. You, you know, you need to be on the rock first before you can make this world a better place. And the only one who can make the world a better place is changing people in their hearts. But inevitably, the wicked are going to get their own way. The period of wrath is going to come. So it's, it's, it's totally in vain to try and get all the justices put right for this world. Because there's too many injustices happen. They're just they're getting exponentially beyond control. There's so much that is not being done that the, the, the amount of injustices are magnifying on a daily basis. So there's a lot of misery, there's going to be a lot of a lot of retribution from people, from bad reactions, there could be riots, who knows what's up the road. All these uh, machinations are um, encouraged and they're sponsored. All this um, underworld, all the uh, criminal... Uh, human trafficking is, is never dealt with. It could be dealt with, but it won't be dealt with because all the fruit at the top of the tree are involved with it and they won't go after, the police won't be allowed to go after those people because they find that all the people in higher power are compromised by these vice rings. They've got something on everybody, whether it's paedophilia, whether it's, whether it's drugs, it's all interlinked with one another and it controls and it's choked the world and brought it to its knees, our country is on its knees. So this is my watchman report, it's just to warn, warn you if you're a believer, is to um, n not, not, not be a person who's going to face the Lord with, without an excuse that you didn't share the gospel, or if you're a believer and you're yoked to these wicked people and you, you remained in it, you didn't listen, you didn't get out, uh, and uh, taste the blessings of the Lord because if you're yoked to those things you'll be choked, you'll be damned you'll be damned in your progression so a warning to the uh, believer that's yoked to them a warning to the believer who's, who's not sharing the gospel I'm not talking about baby believers who are learning the word and finding their feet I'm talking about people who know should know better is that we're, we're commanded to go out in the highways and byways and uh, 
and I warn myself because I'm guilty of being slack and backsliding and not, not doing what I should be doing. So it's a warning to the, the, the body of Christ and also people in the world who are looking, who are lost, who will hear this message, who the Holy Spirit will touch and draw them unto salvation and, the, and to repentance, to, to know you're a sinner and to come to the light, come to the Lord Jesus Christ and say, Lord, have mercy on me, to believe that he will forgive you of your sins. And he has forgiven all people of their sins. But it needs to be appropriated, it needs to be believed, it needs to be sought, it needs to be knocked, you have to knock. And God is faithful to answer and save that soul, purchase them with his precious blood, his cleansing blood, and be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, and be uh, cleaned in the heart and lifted with uh, unspeakable joy. So I'm going to close now, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave that invitation to anyone he's lost. And uh, Maranatha.